We're here to celebrate good times at the Imagination Station with me, as always, the Chief Scientist, Carl Nelson. I'm going to put on my glasses, just in case, but you know, you get the 2020 glasses celebrating the new year. And you have 2020 vision. You <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> today we're talking about champagne, right, for New Year's. and. You know, there's a, a right way and a, a less effective, maybe not right, maybe a less effective way to open a bottle of champagne. You've probably seen people where they shake the bottle yeah. and then they, they shoot it at something. Very dangerous because yeah. this bottle is at about 90 PSI. It's like three times what your tire pressure is. And this cork, when it launches from the bottle, you know, if you're doing that thing where you're not being careful and you might point at somebody, don't do that. It can actually reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour within like an arm's length, oh, wow. you won't be able to blink your eye fast enough to protect your eye in that case. So the, 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 the safe thing to do is like always keep it pointed away from somebody, right? And when you take the cage off, that's when it's the most dangerous, right? So what you you're never gonna, know at this You point. never know. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna control the cork. Put your hand on the cork, mm -hmm. twist the bottle, okay? You can even do it on a table, just twist the bottle. There you, you go. You were an expert at that. And now we got, Nothing coming out. And you know what? You over. paid good money for all that extra bubbly in there. <laughs> you don't want it shooting out into the air. That is a good point. Okay. Now, that's the safe way to do it. That's the recommended way. All right. We're going to try something a little bit different. Oh, boy. Now, you may, not, you may have noticed, it's really kind of hard to see, but on a bottle, there's actually a seam on one side here yeah. and on the other. And that seam comes from when they actually make the bottle. So I actually have a mold here of how a bottle is made. And if you can see that, but there's that line right there. Yeah. That's because they would, um, this would be upright. They would drop a gob of glass in there and then and that it. would be on top. Oh, these things are heavy. Yeah. Right. And that, that forms the bottle. Boom, like that, right? So it's up like that. They blow it in, blow some air, cools down the bottle. And then you take it apart. You have a seam on either side. Well, it turns out that that seam where it meets right up here is the weakest part of the bottle. So if we were to be really clever and apply a force to that part of our champagne bottle, okay. it's called the annulus up here, we could actually break off the top of the bottle. Right? So supposedly Napoleon did this in his conquering armies. They oh, had great. sabers and you know, they grab a <laughs> bottle and you know, they would just like oh, pff, oh, whack it off. Right. We're going to try that. Now, this is, this is just a prop. We're not gonna, this is an actual champagne saberage blade. Yeah, it has, yeah, it has it has no sharp edges, right? Okay. So you could hold that. Well, I guess I trust myself with this. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me show you the technique. You're gonna take the bottle once we remove the cage. You're gonna take this blade. You're gonna hold the bottle. Don't point it to the videographer. Um, you're gonna slide the blade down that. See that seam mm -hmm. right there? Slide it down okay. and just make good impact and follow through. Follow through. Follow through. Follow okay. Through. To help this break a little bit easier, I've chilled the necks of the bottles here. So we're going to dry this off. I've even cleared a line for you on the bottle, right? So just follow that line, <laughs> right? I'm going to try to make it successful here. Oh so boy. go ahead. Do you want me to aim in this direction, that direction? Um, yeah, aim over that way, well, I think. I, I, we better switch places then. I don't, I don't want oh, to follow well, through towards you. Yeah, no. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get out of the way. Okay. Here. So you put that in your... I'll, I'll sort of get behind. I'll switch. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So where, where do you acquire a okay. champagne opening blade? Oh, uh, Amazon. You can go anywhere. <laughs> and if you don't have one of these, you could, and here, let me give you a tip. Um, okay. Extend the arm a little bit further. Just point it straight out. Put this down about 45 degrees. It'll okay. save our lights. Right. Okay. And then you're going to start down here and one fluid swift motion, pop the end off. Awesome. Oh. Look at that. We've conquered. That is very nice. <laughs> First try, you did it perfect. Now, one thing to note, we're not. Let me show you this. Yeah. Look at the top of that bottle. Don't put your mouth on Incredibly it. sharp yeah. edges. In fact, here's what we did before. The glass actually stays wrapped around the cork. Wow. Right? Now, the nice thing about the pressure inside is if there was any broken glass, it typically blows it away um, and doesn't go in the bottle. But if you were to, you know, pour this into a bottle, you'd want to, I guess that was the wrong way, huh? You would definitely want to check to see if there's yeah. any broken glass at the bottom. Sure. Now, a cool thing behind this, if you hit the space bar on the computer here, got you've it. got some high speed footage. Here's the blade, okay. check this out. It's coming up, it's coming up near the end, and just a little tink, burst it, of gas, it launches all comes it across. Off in one, one motion, piece. look at that. Look at that. Man. So it's just, it is such a, a fun way to sort of open up your champagne bottle, but I think you still need to follow those same safety yeah. precautions. Don't drink from the bottle, for goodness sakes, sharp edges. Check your 
little glasses for yeah. any. Here, right. I'll, I'll give that to you. There so you we won't drink out of these, but you know, we'll just, okay, just check to make sure there's not. That's all right. But we'll hold it up. A fun way to celebrate. Yeah. New Year's. And another fun way is to celebrate New Year's yes. Eve Eve right here at the Imagination Station Monday. We're gonna have forty thousand bouncy balls. Really? That are falling from everywhere in the building. Okay. It's gonna be the coolest thing ever. You have to come down. And it and happens at two twenty. Two twenty for twenty twenty. Uh, forty thousand balls within seconds. Okay. People, people always ask, how do you clean up 40,000 balls? You don't have to. Within seconds, every kid and adult has picked up all 40,000 balls. That's a whole experiment in itself. Excellent. Well, all right, yeah, the, the kids do the cleanup because they, <laughs> they want do. to get those super balls. They get to take them home. And they can come back uh, on uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Correct. Open all week. Lots of fun, lots of good Excellent. school science. That's how you, there you go. imagine it.